so hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i will be explaining the problem number of ways to select buildings it is a pretty good problem it is a three-dimensional dp problem i will come to it how i determine that this is a 3d dp problem but first let's analyze the question so the problem is saying that uh, you are an inspector and you have to inspect three buildings out of these uh, this string you have to choose three buildings and you have to return the number of valid ways to select three buildings so in a way it is asking you that you have to return the maximum number of valid ways you can select three buildings so so whenever in a problem you have to make certain choices okay so you can either select a building or you cannot select a building and the secondly you have to maximize the number of ways so whenever you have choices choices plus uh, some constraints okay here the constraint is that you can select at most three buildings so uh, you should uh, it will be better to think in the uh, dp direction that it this problem may belong to dp and uh, the way to solve any dp problem is first you uh, memoize the solution and then you code uh, then you can you have to think recursively and then you have to memoize the solution so i will do it in the same way so if we see so let's select this example 001101 okay 001101 so here uh, you can select one building zero and then uh, you come to one and there you have a choice that either you want to select this building or you can uh, you don't want to select this building and uh, then and so on so at any particular point if we see that uh, how many uh, in how many ways we can select the number of buildings ahead uh, it depends on two things so suppose you are at this point you are iterating the array you are at this point and let's say you have three choices let's say you can you have to make two selections or you have to make one selection so if you have you have to make two selections then the number of ways to select will be different and if you have to uh, make one selection then uh, the number of maximum number of ways you can select uh, out of this much uh, string will be different and secondly the second factor that will determine the number of ways you can select the buildings will be the previous building which you had selected so for example if you had selected previously zero num uh, zero an office then your number of choices would have been different but if you had uh, chosen a uh, restaurant before uh, selecting this uh, before coming at this point the number of choices would have been different okay so uh, let's get into the problem so how i will approach this problem is so let's increase the font okay so Mm, the first thing I will do is that I will just return I will just make a function called solve and return return solve s so I will make a function and I will pass certain parameters so the parameter parameters will be s s will be the string 0 will be the index so 0th index 3 will be the number of choices and minus 1 will be the first building that i have selected so since at the beginning i have not selected any building so i will write it minus one now i will make my solve function so long long solve solve string ampersand s int int index comma int selection selection comma int previous building so this is my previous build the previous building that i have selected so now I will just write int n is equal to s dot size. So the first, uh, so to do any recursive uh, sol uh, uh, recursive solution, there should be some base condition, base conditions, and secondly there should be choices. Okay. So if you come here, so if let's suppose if n, so if index is greater than equal to n, it means that you have run out of uh, the string then you will return simply zero and our second condition will be so if uh, the selection selection is equal to zero then you will return one so it means that uh, i think i have written a 
spelling mistake so it means that uh, if you have chosen any particular selection so suppose you select this this and this then your uh, selection count will uh, be zero you can not select uh, any more uh, buildings after this point so it will be zero uh, in that case you will uh, get one valid way so you will return the return one now what can be the choices okay so the choices depend on uh, the previous building that you had selected okay so if uh, you cannot select two buildings of same kind so you will have to keep track of the previous building so if let's say the current building that is s index minus zero uh, i am doing this minus zero because this string is of uh, like character type so this is not a number that is why i am uh, writing what mm, s minus zero set so that this becomes a number okay so if s is not equal to previous building previous building then what will be return we will return uh, so suppose you chose this building then you are at this point so you can do two things either you can select the building or you can leave it so if i i can do both uh, both of these actions at this point so uh, i will say let's let's see if i select the building if i select the building then i will just move my index further and the number of selection that i have will become selection minus one and the building that i have chosen will become the previous building for the next selection so i will pass s index minus zero and the third uh, the second choice can be i don't select this building so it will be s index plus one i will move further the number of selection that i have left will remain same and the previous building will also remain same okay so this is my first choice mm, else else i will just return else if uh, i mean if uh, so let's say if i chose this building and i am now at the similar type of building zero then i cannot select this because it is given in the question that you can't make a selection like this so uh, in that case my uh, selection will be same and i will just return zero however we will never reach this point because we will always have we will always fall into this else condition so this is my uh, recursive approach and this should be fine if i if there is not any compilation mistake then this should give us the answer so this for this case i am getting the answers so but however the time complexity of this will be too much okay uh, so i have to reduce the time complexity by memoizing the solution but let's see here the time constraint is the length is 10 raised to power 5 okay so uh, and let's see how many parameters are changing so if you want to me memoize any what uh, any um, a recursive solution you have to see that in the recursive uh, functions how many parameters are changing so you see that the index is changing the selection is changing the previous building is changing so it should be a 3d uh, i should make a 3d array or vector uh, to uh, store the values so if we see the index the index it can go from 0 to what 10 raised to power 5 the previous building previous building can go from minus 1 it can take three values minus 1 0 or 1 and the selection can take four kind of values 0 1 2 3 actually it can only take three type of values so my the dp that i am going to make will be of type this so 10 raised to power 5 plus 1 uh, this one be of selection will be have four and then three so the and the time complexity that was earlier way too much will now become what uh uh like uh, 12 into 10 raised to power 5 uh, that is basically n time complexity will become n so mm, now let's simply memoize the solution 
so i will just write the vector so long long uh, one potential mistake uh, you can also you could have written int in that case you would have got some error uh, so this is a common mistake long long let's say let's make this vector dp and let's make this size 10 raised to power 5 uh, 4 3 okay so this is my dp and now i will initialize my dp so uh, initially i will set the entire dp to minus 1 so for int i is equal to 0 i less than what 1 0 0 1 i plus plus for int j is equal to 0 j less than what 4 j plus plus for int k is equal to 0 is equal to 0 what k less than 3 k plus plus I will write it dpi j and k is equal to minus 1 so this will be my dp array uh, I have initialized it now what I will do is that I will simply just write here dp index so dp index selection prev building plus one is equal to zero so i have written prev building plus one here because initially it is minus one and if i see set, uh, set minus one here only prev building uh, not plus one then it will give me an error so i am setting the values here so uh, let's just check the compilation so it is compiling now uh, i will just memoize it so once i have stored the answers i will just write check if at any point this if dp is not equal to minus one it means that i have already calculated that possibility in that case i will simply return my answer so you can see so you can see that i'm getting the same answer let's see if i would not have memoized it what and let's make another variable int count is equal to zero so let's see how many times i would have fallen into this uh, recursive trap recursive loop let's make it count plus plus see out count uh, count plus plus mm, and in the end i should just write c out count and uh, okay uh, nothing oh sorry my bad uh, let's make it long long res is equal to this and return res okay so i would have fallen into the for loop how many times 33 times in this uh, uh, in this case and only 18 and 18 times in this case but once i memoize the solution let's see how many recursive calls i make 22 and 13 so this has reduced significantly and uh, that's all there is now let's submit it mm, 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 mm. it is accepted so that is the solution for this problem i hope you have understood well so please do like the video and subscribe the channel bye bye